might not kill him in one day. He might take three days. <laughs> If you are on the Democratic platform, if you're on the Democratic platform, especially children of God, you need to leave that platform. You need to leave that political platform. Especially if you are Christians. Talking about you are holy and righteous. But supporting a platform that murder black babies by the millions that have murdered black babies by the millions and promoting all kinds of sin that is destroying America. You need to leave that platform. You need to leave the democratic platform. Praise the name of God. You need to leave that platform. I don't know how much clearer that it can be said. You need to lead a democratic platform. It is bad company. Bad company corrupts good character. Bad company corrupts good character. Bad company corrupts good character. We are called to be like the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not racist. Like a lot of you black leaders and a lot of you white leaders on the democratic platform. Why y'all cruising the uh, Republicans of 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 the of that? Y'all racist, and all y'all that love Jesus, you need to leave that platform because it's a lot of Christian becoming corrupted. I've been seeing, I'm seeing it again and again, especially the black Christians, the quote unquote black Christians, Christians that are black. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all are being filled up with hate. That's why I don't watch these slave movies anymore. I don't watch these slave moves unless it's going to be built on uniting Christian brothers and sisters, whether they be white or black. Whether they be white or black. You don't need to be watching these slave moves. It ain't doing nothing but stirring up hatred in your heart and revenge in your heart. There's a lot of them filled up with it. That's why the nation of Islam, they run into the Democratic Party. You have the, uh, what else, the black Hebrew Israelite, they hate white people. And the majority of black people flock into this platform and they've been filled up with hate from their preachers, from the church's pulpit, that hate, that hatred uh, spirit coming from these preachers behind the pulpit on Sundays, filling your cheering hearts up with hate when they should begin the gospel in these churches. They supposed to begin the blood of the cross, the love of God in their heart to love all people, whether they be white, black, Mexican, Indians, Muslims, or whatever. But what I'm saying is just a lot of hate. It's a lot of hate being stirred up from the pulpit to hate white people. There's too much hate. Black people flooding the Democratic Party. Y'all need to lead that party. Bad company corrupts good character. All down my feed, I've been unfollowing, unfollowing posts that is stirring up hatred against white people. Black people, these is it's mostly coming from black people, church people. People, if you go and then you go to their profile, they are God, quote unquote, God professing, fearing people. But then I see down my feed and I have to unfollow. And then when it's so bad that I have to unfriend people that stirring up hatred and racism, black racism. Y'all go to church, but y'all are stirring up hate. And you got Jamal Bryan, Pastor Jamal Bryan, not too long ago. He promoting the nation of Islam, which is also a racist group. And trying to connect the, the church of the, the church of Christians with the nations of Islam. Black is all about black, black Hebrew Israelites. You got the black nation of Islam. You got the Democratic Party, 90% black, all being filled with hate against uh, white people. Y'all going to get left behind. And I pray to God that y'all don't die with hate in your heart. Murderers shall have their, their, their part in the lake of fire. Murderers shall hell their lake. Hate is the same as murder in the sight of God. Hate is the same as murder in the sight of God. Y'all need to get y'all cheering out, out of most of these black churches. 
I made up my mind a long time ago. I wasn't going to let my nephews, my little nephews and nieces grow up and take them to these churches, these black churches, promoting hate. And the list goes on. May God have mercy on us. May God have mercy. May God have mercy. Get your cheering out of the churches that is promoting racism of any kind. Good Lord, I, I, I don't know how much more uh, 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 I, I can say. Run from the Democratic platform. Get your family from it. Bad company corrupts good character. You got the schools teaching these black children to hate. Black churches, quote unquote, black churches teaching their children to hate this racist, this racism. You mean to tell me there's nobody they can accuse these people on the Republican platform of being racist? But you mean to tell me there's no single white person on the Democratic platform that are not racist? There's no racist people on the Democratic platform because, as I see, I see it's more of them racist than anything. That's what I see. That's what I'm seeing being stirred up again and again from the black, quote unquote, black so-called leaders. They have left their own people half dead in these broken black community, broken black uh, ghettos. And then when election time come, here they come. But when it's over with, they leave them right back half dead again. Election time come again, they want their votes again. And then they turn around and they leave them half dead again. Broken communities, broken down schools, and then they blaming the white man. I am so sick of it. And I know the Holy Spirit is being grieved by this, you so-called Christian. I can't believe what I'm seeing from these black prophets and so-called black prophets, prophets so-called black uh, elders in the church promoting hatred towards white people. And then when Sunday come, here they go, behind the pulpits, sitting in the congregation, praising God, praising Jesus, talking about they got the Holy Ghost. And then when Sunday is over with, come the poll day, they filled up with hatred, voting sin, making sin the law of the land. And then quote Second Chronicles, what it is, verse 7, if my people humble themselves, that are called by my name, turn from their wicked ways, seek my faith, then would I heal their land, turn from their sin, then would I heal their sin. But then they go to the polls, and then they vote for sin, and wait right back on Sunday again, talking about they holy, talking about they got love in their heart for all people. I love my black people too. I remember what happened to the, our, our black ancestors. They have paved the way for us as Christians to call people to repentance, to call people to the cross, whether they be black or white. But what I'm saying, it is a disgrace before the living God. In these black communities run by black preachers and black politicians, black leaders, and their black communities torn down, they just as wealthy as white people. Some of them have more money than white people. But they pass by their black girls, poor black girls, and poor black boys, and they head to their cameras to broadcast it to the whole nation. It's the white man's fault. It's their fault. You just done passed by a hundred black poor people stranded in your communities, in the streets. Have you preached the gospel to them? I don't see it. We got 40 to 50 churches on our block. I've been preaching this gospel, me and my brother and who, or whoever few others there are, for years. And I had to stop going to the church. I had to stop bringing people to these churches and just seek the Lord to the point it just break my heart to what's going on in these churches. I don't see not one corporate church preaching the gospel in the fields. They got more money. They got the money. They got the, the members. You get all these black people in your church. I don't see not one group of church preaching the gospel throughout this these black communities. But we have 40 to 50 churches packed up on Sundays. Black leaders behind the pulpits filling these black people hearts up with hatred just like CNN and uh, ABC The View. We're supposed to be better than that. This is only one race when it comes to the Christians 
when it be black, white, Puerto Rican, Indian, Indian, Muslim, Jesus Christ, the nation, the a peculiar people, a holy nation, a holy priesthood, a royal people, and racism does not exist in the kingdom of God of any kind. Good God Almighty. I can't believe what I had to hear the other day. A student, uh, they got they had to do a, a, a research paper on the government shutdown. Where was the research paper on uh, Clinton shutdown? Where was the the research paper on Obama's shutdown? Where are the research paper when me and my mom got laid off when Obama was the president? Where was the research when the stimulus package went out? Millions of dollars flooded the black communities, and many of the people that needed didn't get one dollar. But a layoff in one years of unemployment fund, and you going from good Lord, good God, don't be like the uh the the man on uh on the road that was robbed and you lay you left at half dead. Sometimes you just need help. If you left half dead, you need some good Samaritans to help you get on your feet. And that's our problems in the black community. We don't have enough good Samaritans. They passing the people on by. They passing them on by, headed to their royal pulpits, and then start to quote scriptures to the people. The Bible says, go ye out into the whole world and preach the gospel. Start where you are. I don't see not one corporate church, and it's been years going by. Ever since I've been a boy down here in this district, this democratic district, I haven't seen not one black political leader come up to me and talk to me. Man, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord, Lord have mercy. Now, Jesus have a whole chapter dedicated to hypocrites and vipers and no good leaders. Robbing the people, robbing the poor, robbing the or orphans, robbing girls and boys. Then they get behind their cameras and broadcast it to the nation and blame it on others. But they themselves passing the people on by. They passing the people on by. They care more about their politics. And you can they can call this emotional, whatever they want to call it. But my God tell me to love him with my whole heart, body, and soul, and that consists of my emotions. You get emotional when these prophets prophesy to you money, 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 money. In your life, you got another blessing coming. They get all emotional about that. But when it comes to soul, when it comes to having compassion, where is the emotion then? Where is the emotion? Where is the emotion on these people dying? Where is the emotion then? Where is the compassion like the Good Samaritans? Because the Good Samaritans did not ask whether you were a Republican or a Democrat or whether you are a, uh, uh, what denomination you're, you're coming from or what is your background or what is your skin color? The Good Samaritan did not ask what is your skin color. He did not make any excuse not to help that man that was robbed and beaten on his way to Jerusalem, I think. And we have people right now full of, it's just full of churches. Well, where is the good, good Samaritans? It's just a lot of blame game. You got people half dead in this nation. This nation is crumbling down, divided. That's, the, that's Satan's weapon, divide and conquer. And Satan have children too, whoever they are, on both sides. We need to be on the Lord's side. If we're on the Lord's side, we're going to speak what does say the Lord, don't, regardless of the person's skin color or regardless of what denomination they is, regardless of their political platform, regardless of their schools and universities, their status, and how many people they got following them, we're going to speak what does say the Lord. Now, I'm seeing black people following black um, a pastor after he done openly mentioned that he will connect that the nation of Islam, a racist group, is to be connected with the Christians, with his church. And you know what I saw? All the uh, prophecies continue to support him. Saved, so, uh, saved people, not all of them are, sa are, are saved. You're talking about people that's doing openly sinning in the face of God. Just, just, just no shame. Good God Almighty. Promoting false preachers and false teachers. And what the Lord, I believe what the Lord is speaking, that the, Jesus said there was going to be false prophets in the last days. There are false prophets, false prophets that disguised as politicians. Prophesizing nothing but uh, lies, but good God. In other words, that been prophet black leaders. Let me get to the black leaders. 
They've been prophesying to the black communities in the black ghetto for decades. And the black ghettos and communities still dead. They still have dead. They, they got more money. They, they rich. They wealthy. But they just passing these people on by for years. False preachers deceiving the skies as, uh, as sheep, as, as God's good people. God is saying enough. God is saying enough. The Lord is saying enough. See, the Lord, the Lord cannot heal sin. Lord don't heal sin. He takes away sin. And that's what he came to do. But we have preachers, ministers, fighting, celebrating, killing, and shedding innocent blood of babies. And that, my Bible tells me that they that shed men's blood shall have their blood shed. For men is made in the image of God. Every man, every baby, every girl, every skin color made in the image of God. And all this hate that I'm seeing, I want to clean up my, uh, I'm just unfollowing people. Good God Almighty, and when it turns to violence, it's time to unfriend and block. Good God, because I'm trying to point people to the blood of the cross. I'm trying to point people to the gospel. And God is helping me to do so. The devil don't want me doing this. The devil been trying to keep my lifestyle, war off, everything. You know, down here in this, in, in this district run by black preachers and black leaders. But they just whining and complaining. They just as wealthy as the white people. But they watch their own black school just crumble on down, pass on by, like they, like the preachers and the politicians did in the Bible. And only the good Samaritan that had sense enough to stop by and gave that uh, man that was robbed with thieves and beaten, gave him everything that he needed to help that man get on his feet. You got California, people sleeping in tents, black and white, run by democratic policies. Man, good Lord, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Chicago ran by a Democrat Arab for decades. Black boys and black girls shot up, families shot up and dead. Where's the compassion? Where's the compassion, you black leaders? Y'all rich and wealthy. You rich athletes and you rappers and you preachers. Where's the Good Samaritan? The Good Samaritan wasn't saved neither. But the Good Samaritan had compassion. Where's the compassion, people? Where's the compassion? You want to hook your black people on foods now? You want them to stay on foods now while you get wealthy and rich? While you make millions of, of, of taxpayers' dollars? You get rich, you're getting rich off these poor working families. They voted you in. They hired you. You work for them, but they politically dumb like I was. But the Lord is saying enough. Wake up, people. Wake up in the name of the Lord. What does the word of God say? What does the word of God say in these last days? It's too much hurt. It is too much brokenness. In the churches, bishop raping girls in the churches. Bishop saying that homosexuality, preacher saying that homosexuality is okay. This is where we are in the last day. ABC National News broadcasting 11 year old drag queen boy looking like a girl and they cheering it. This is where we are in these last days. So don't tell me that America is not coming down. Don't tell me that the judgment of God is not coming on America. Enjoy your blessings and miracles, whatever God is doing. Enjoy the harvest. Pray the Lord. Uh, send more laborers into the harvest. I'm just one of the workers in, in, this, in, in this harvest in these last days. Good God Almighty, one of the most, one of the, another unusual person to be a Christian or to be a preacher. Preacher. Good God Almighty. And God is waking people up, pouring out his spirit on all flesh in these last days. Good God. My Bible tells me, Revelation, my Bible tells me, uh, time is short. Time is short, people. Israel became a nation in 1948. Israel is called the fig tree in Matthew 24. Jesus said, when you see this happening, know that it is near and that uh, even at the door. Israel became the, the, is the prophetic time clock of God. It was prophesied in the Old Testament that Israel was going to be born, reborn, become a nation again after Haman tried to kill up all the Jews. Hitler tried to kill up all the Jews. But God swore to Abraham that they will not. He keep his head. God had to swore by his own name. He had to make an oath by his own name because there is no one greater than him. Right now, you go to Israel. Jews have been brought back. Jews have been brought back. And Jesus said, when you see that nation... 
become a uh, become born again. It was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah, if I'm not mistaken. One of those prophets in the Old Testament. And they have come to pass in the 1900s. And here we are in 2019 um, now. I don't see no whites only signs on that Republican Party. I don't see no black only sign on the Democratic Party. But y'all both claim to be Christians. Y'all both behind pulpits on every Sunday. Y'all both passing by. Many of y'all bodies held dead girls and boys in these broken down communities and things like that. And you call yourself preachers and righteous and saints of God. We need to wake up in these last days. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. God is pouring out his spirit on all flesh. Good God Almighty. And the Antichrist spirit is working hard. With the powers of hell trying to prevail against the church, pouring flood in all these sites and school, what Planned Parenthood books and calling it children's book. You got hatred promoting more and more value in the people enjoying it, going to church every day. They are enjoying this hatred against this one man. Black people gathering all up together. Nation of Islam, the uh, black Hebrew Israelite, Democratic Party, 90% of uh, black people. And good God almighty, we're promoting the very thing that God sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to die for. And that's why many preachers cannot preach against the sin of homosexuality. It's because they are on a platform, bad company, corrupt. Uh, good character. You're on a platform that strongly support homosexuality. How can you protect in the sanctity of marriage between one man and a woman if you own a party that promotes it and is strongly protecting homosexuality like in the days of Sodom? You're promoting it. You're helping to promote it. You're helping to, to ban the Bible. You're helping to persecute Christians like they are over there in uh, the Middle East. And now we have the Islamic Muslims seeing some space with the Democratic Party because they have that same spirit, the Antichrist spirit, and they seeing that this hatred against Christians is on that Democratic Party. Good God Almighty, banning Bibles in California, that rumor, oh, that, that what they tried to do? They're trying to stop people from preaching the gospel to homosexuals. Uh, they're demanding rights that we call a man, a trans, what, trans man uh, who is biological or woman. Demanding that we call uh, uh, this person a ma'am. Force trying to force churches who may marry same sex couples. Trying to force Christian churches, but nothing about Islamic Islam, which is one of the worst religion in the world. They cut your heads off. They cut homosexual heads off over there in their uh, community in their Islamic countries. They beat their wives over there in the Islamic country under the Sharia law. And now they want that Sharia law over there. They're all on the same party because they see something. They see something. They see space to destroy this nation. That's why they want to let the illegal immigrants in. Oh, never mind letting them come in the right way. Never mind that criminals is flooding this nation. Have raped women. Good God Almighty. How can we be so blind? How can we be, how can we be so blind? And we're so righteous black people. How can we be so blind to pay by our own people? Watch our own people die. Our own people suffer. The, the jail cell full of black people. And we want to help the immigrants. And we're not even helping our own people. Why ain't over a $5 billion wall? Democrats have sent uh, good God, hundreds of billions of dollars across seas. And the people that needed the money did not get it. Just like over here. They rarely get it. Those that need the money rarely get it. President Trump sent a hundred billion dollars worth to revitalize the black community. How much of us are going to see that money? Did we see how many salt that stimulus package that Obama uh passed? Good God Almighty, wake up, people! I'm praying to God for some good Samaritans. We're praying to God for workers in the harvest. We need people that will preach this gospel, preach this cross, preach the blood of the Lamb. Good God Almighty, praise the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. God deliver me from hatred. God deliver me from hatred. Okay. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He delivered me from hatred on bed. And now I see black people all down my post feed. All in the churches, went to the church, and this black leader talking about it's a democratic church. Your democratic platform been murdering black babies, started by Margaret Sanger, a racist white woman, to murder, and now they the black race. But you still on that democratic platform. Why? 
Judge your own platform. Judge your own heart. Judge your own spirit before you start to judge others. Get God Almighty. Do we not know that the Holy Spirit is going to point out? If the Holy Spirit points out the sins of others, that the, the Holy Spirit is going to point out the sins in us. God is no respecter of persons. No respecter of persons. Y'all need to stop filling up these black children's hearts with hate. You need to burn up some of this rap music that's spreading the hate and, and, and sexual, creating sexual predators. You need to burn up some of these Hollywood movies that's creating sexual predators and rapists. And Facebook needs to do need to start censoring their porn and violence and that's being flooded on their platform. Why they want to call people racist. But they support Louis Farrakhan that's promoting all the hatred against white people in front of their faces. And pastors connecting with the nation of Islam. All just black racist and black hatred. It's just full of hatred against white people. They're self-righteous. That's not the righteousness of Christ. That's not the righteousness of God. The Lord that I serve. That washed my sins away. Good God Almighty. I'm on my way to heaven. I'm on my way to heaven. I'm going to be ready when the Lord comes. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Praise the name. Of, we need to be praying for souls to get saved. People to get delivered from hatred and racism in these last days. Good God Almighty. And pray for more workers in the harvest. We got 20, 40, 40 plus 50 churches in this county. And not one corporate church out on the field preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ to these dying black communities that's perishing. Good God Almighty. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to pray for your children to be in a school that's not promoting the hatred. Good God. Pray the Lord to help you to get them in a church that's not promoting racism behind these pulpits. They do not have the Holy Spirit, and God did not call many of them to be preachers. They have divided the people of God with all these churches. And then the devil, he divides, and then he conquers. He conquers. And so we better thank Jesus for what he said, that I will build my church, and the powers of hell will not prevail, because that's what the powers of hell are trying to do, trying to prevail against Christians. And they're all, many of them, flocking to the Democratic platform to pass these laws, these anti-Christian laws, anti-Bible laws. And they promote everything under the sun but Christian values. That's what the Lord showed me. Good God, because I would have been swept into this Democratic platform too if I didn't know the word of God. When I first saw that this promotion of homosexuality coming from a professed Christian and the killing of babies, when I found that out within two years, I knew to leave it then and continue to seek the Lord. And the Lord showed me what to do to save babies, to preserve marriage between a man and a woman, male and female. And you got you got people, Christians, fighting for trans men and trans women to use the same restroom, public restroom, as girls and boys. The opposite sex. That's all on the Democratic platform. But all y'all can do is blame the Republican, good God Almighty. Look in the mirror, which is the Bible. Look in the mirror. I had to do that. And God showed me my sins. And I repented. I cannot look at a skin and blame it on a skin color or something else. I got to look at the Bible and judge myself. The Holy Spirit is no respecter of, of a person. Praise the name of God. And I hope somebody, and I hope people, I'm praying that people... Black, white, Muslim, whoever they are, get set free by the blood of the Lamb, blood of the cross, because Christianity is under attack heavily. Christianity is under attack like never before. They have already abandoned in most of the Middle Eastern or uh, Middle East countries and nations, being taken over by Islam and Islam. China don't promote. They don't promote uh, 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 Christianity in the Bible, in the true gospel, the Quran, and all of that. You may hear about them trying to pass it for a little while, but they're not going to keep it that way. They're going to uh, sooner or later ban it permanently, like America is working on. Now, this is what's going to happen to America. What the people are crying for, many of the poor people to see, this is what's going to happen to them. America's economic financial system is going to be broken down. It's going to collapse because that's the goal of demon spirits. 
waiting to reveal the man of sin over there in the Middle East if he's not already there, if he's not already born yet. Waiting to build this Babylon, Satan, Lucifer, salt, God sitting in heaven, but God rebuked Lucifer. Now, Lucifer, if you study Revelation chapter 18, he's going to use this man of sin to build, to panel great Babylon, which is going to be so attractive that God's going to be telling his people, come out of her, my people. Read Revelation chapter 18. God's going to be telling his people to come out of her. God is telling his people to come out of some things right now, and they're still in it. A platform, churches, schools full of sin. And good God Almighty, God is telling his people to come out of it, and they're still in it. If I had to come out of some of these churches, some of these this political platform and schools and so forth, many of us has come up out of these things that we thought was okay. But God opened our eye to the truth. Good God Almighty. So America is coming down because that's the only way the great Babylon and the man of sin going to be revealed after the church. Most, mostly because after the church is wrapped up and taken up out of this, out of, out of this world. Read. Uh, the book of Thessalonians, then that wicked one, the man of sin, shall be revealed in his time. But he can't be revealed because those of us that have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, he, the Holy Spirit, is holding back, holding back the man of sin, holding back the powers of hell, which are trying to prevail against the church of the church, consisting of many Christians worldwide. Now, in Islamic countries, they don't have the protection that we have over here in America concerning the laws of the land. But they are working constantly over here, the LGBT activists, Islamic Muslim, Hollywood, rich celebrities, and the black Hebrew Israelite nation of Islam, and most of the black churches on this platform, whether they know it or not, they are working and helping to ban Christianity over here, whether they know it or not. That should be obvious. It should be obvious by now. Good God Almighty, run to the cross, run to the blood of Jesus, run to the word of God. We have forsaken the word of God. The Bible prophesied that there's going to be a famine in the land. How do you think that famine is going to come? When they ban Bibles worldwide, they're already working on it. UN, only a few nations help either pull out of UN because they don't want a one world government telling them what to do. Like America is becoming a socialist anti-God, anti-Bible country, and people fighting for it every day. In the time you can promote 11-year-old child drag queen on ABC National News, and there's not an outrage what we think going to happen to America. God's people loving it. God's people supporting sin. How many have repented? Thank God for the ones that have repented. But my Bible tells me some shall depart from the faith. Many shall be deceived by false prophets and false apostles. Good God Almighty. May God continue to open our eyes in these last days. Good God Almighty. May we continue to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Good Lord Almighty, if any, uh, all these false, psychic, witchcraft doctrines coming down our feet, if you're in a witch church, you need to get out of here in the name of the Lord. Good God Almighty, parents need to watch what their children are learning in these books, in these schools, because they've been playing parents who have porn children's books out in this porn. Flat out teaching them porn. Where's the outrage about that, people of God? Black and white, wherever your color is. Where's the outrage about that? Excuse me. Where's the outrage about that? The Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Lord have mercy. So we need to be praying. Good God Almighty, we need to be praying. Praying day and night. Watch it and pray, the Bible said. Watch and pray. Some of these people fire being burnt out by this democratic deceptive party. It's been they've been filled up with hatred. They have been filled up with bitterness, revenge. They need to let go of these slave movies that's not promoting love between Christian, white Christians, and black Christians. Because that's all the slave movies are doing. Promoting hatred. That's all it's doing. And a lot of people are gonna get left behind, including a lot of black people. They're gonna get left behind. Because my Bible tells me in Revelation chapter three, chapter three, just because you rich, you got a lot of money, you black politicians and black preachers, y'all rich, and you got a lot of goods, and you seem like God is with you while you're promoting the sin. Well, you need to go back and read Revelation chapter three. He that have an ear, Revelation chapter three, starting with verse fourteen, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, write. 
These things say the amen, the faithful and true witness. The beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm, that's what the majority of the churches is at right now. And the false prophets on the Democratic Party is helping this to come to pass. You cannot be on fire for God, for the Lord, a holy God, and killing babies on a, uh, and supporting a platform that policies kill babies without mercy, selling baby parts, as I have heard. And they're still thirsty for more blood. They're still thirsty for more blood. They're fighting ministers fighting to kill babies. What is it? Why are they so desperate to kill babies? What is going on? Something is good Lord Almighty. I know your works that thou are neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then because there are lukewarm, you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. That's why they just passing the community, broken down communities on by. They passing them on by leaving them half dead because they got what they want now. They're supposed to be working for the people. The preacher's supposed to be preaching the gospel. The blood of the cross ain't doing nothing but getting the people money. But getting poor working families money in the, with the offerings, through the political offices, by any means that they can. Greedy dogs. That's what the Bible says. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And know not that you are wretched and miserable. And you are poor and blind and naked though you are rich in your own eyes you are self-righteous good god almighty i counsel you to buy of me gold try in the fire that you may be rich white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that that your shame and good lord that the shame of your nakedness do not appear and anoint your eyes with ourselves ourselves that you may see as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcome will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit say unto the churches. Glory to God Almighty. Hallelujah. You need to find you a spirit-filled church, good God Almighty. Or online media spirit-filled church, because I know by reading this Bible, only two churches were approved in the book of Revelation, Revelation 1, 2, and 3. In this church age that we're living in, telling me, letting us know that there's only a few going up in the rapture. There's only a few that have their lamps filled with oil. There's only a few that are sealed with the Holy Spirit. And you're talking about probably 8 billion people in the world and less than 2 billion. Do your research. 2 billion profess, 2 billion that profess to be Christian. Only 2 billion? Good God, is that not a few? I don't know what it is. And, and out of that two billion, you got most of that is counterfeit Christianity. They teaching every other gospel under the sun except for the gospel of the blood of the cross or why Jesus Christ came. Good God Almighty, promoting the nation of Islam. They're promoting uh, Christ Islam. They're promoting the, what else? Uh, how can I put it? Uh, 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 uh. Good Lord, let me just get ready to just end it. But praise the name of the Lord. That they are selling everything under the sun except giving you the gospel. Except, good Lord, winning souls to Christ. We need to make sure that we are saved and that our lamps are filled with oil. Because we are in the last days. We don't know how long we have, but we do, we do know it's not a long time. It's not long. The Bible say time is short. Now is high time to arise in Christ and awaken spiritually awake. Be spiritually watchful and awaken and pray for and praying. Standing strong like Noah. Standing strong like Noah 
in these evil days that we are living in. Good God Almighty, and we need to, uh, good Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Stay in prayer. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your for who you are. Hallelujah. On the throne. We thank you for the blood of the cross. Hallelujah. We thank you for the power of the blood of the cross that is able to break the yoke of racism, that is able to break the yoke of any bondage, any addiction. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. I was once lost, but now I'm saved by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm saved by the blood of Jesus. Jesus has delivered me from hatred. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it wasn't racism. It was hatred of what man did to my mama. But God took that hatred out of me. Glory to God. He took that hatred and revenge out of my heart. In 2001, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit came upon me and broke that yoke. Hallelujah, the blood of the cross took that sin away. He broke the power of the devil. He broke the power of demon spirits off my life. Hallelujah, any addiction that I had, he broke that. Good God Almighty, he broke that. He broke the powers of Satan. Satan is a real foe, but Jesus Christ is greater. Hallelujah, Jesus Christ is greater. And any problem that you have, the blood of the cross can break it because that's what he went to the cross for, to redeem you from the curse of sin and to save your soul, hallelujah, to give you life and life more abundantly in the Lord. Hallelujah, according to the words of God. Hallelujah, glory to God. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord for, uh, good Lord, the dead in Christ shall rise first and those of us that are alive and remain shall be caught up. And change in the twinkling of an eye to meet the Lord in the air. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Wherefore, ye comfort one another in these words. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Praise the name of the Lord.